Hello, sports fans. I'm Tom Harmon, and it's my pleasure to be with you for Sports Vision's All-American Game of the Week. These games represent one of the outstanding college games played throughout the nation. We certainly hope you sports fans are backing your local college team. Now let's take a look at the All-American Game of the Week. Little Rock, Arkansas was the site of one of the year's top football clashes that pitted two of the nation's top-ranked undefeated 11s, Arkansas and Mississippi. For the fifth consecutive week, Coach Bowden Wyatt's Arkansas Razorbacks were established as underdogs, and for the fifth straight time, the sophomore studded 11 came through with a tremendous win. Their victim this time was Ole Miss, as the Rebels were handed their first loss after five consecutive wins. The loss was extra costly because it counted as a Southeast Conference tilt and knocked the Rebels from the loop lead. Ole Miss had not been able to schedule the required six games to be eligible for the conference title, so this game was designated as a conference go. Arkansas, a member of the Southwest Conference, was not even designated as a dark horse in preseason calculations, but the youngsters so far have done all and more that Coach Wyatt has asked as they leave their opponents wandering at the final gun. This team may well be one of Arkansas's all-time great squads, and with the tremendous leadership and spark provided by Coach Bowden Wyatt, the Razorbacks have already been labeled the surprise team of the year. The eyes of the football world will be focused on this rough, tough young football squad in weeks to come, all with the same question, can they do it again today? Well, they did it today, and who's to say where they will stop? The Arkansas Razorbacks of 54 are one whale of a football team, but right now it's time for the game. Arkansas won the toss, elect to receive. Mississippi will defend the North goal as fullback Paige Cothran kicks off for Mississippi. George Walker takes it on the two and swings back upfield behind his blockers and is dropped on the 19-yard line. So it's Arkansas's ball. First down, 10 to go on their own 19. Single wing formation, it's fullback Henry Moore through the center of the line, fighting his way through for three yards. Second down, seven yards to go on their 22-yard line. The Razorback, single wing formation to the right with George Walker swinging in over right tackle. A beautiful hole goes in for 11 yards. And the Razorback fans believe their ball club can do it again. First and 10 now, and it's fullback Henry Moore through the center for three yards, fighting for every inch. Arkansas was unable to gain further, so they punted. We pick up the play, and it's now Mississippi's ball as fullback Paige Cuthlin swings over left tackle for seven yards. Fumble on the play, but the official ruled the ball was dead. Third and one now. Quarterback Houston Patton over left tackle. Moving in for eight big yards, and it's a first down for Mississippi. And now the Rebel fans have something to cheer about. A line play carried to the Arkansas 34, but a penalty put him back on the 44, and there Paige Cothran moves in at left end for two big yards. So it's Mississippi's ball, second and 13 now on their own 46-yard line. The quarterback fades the pass, can't spot a receiver, decides to run. Up the center he goes for two yards. Houston Patton, the quarterback. And it's a punt formation now, failing to make the first down, and Patton kicks out of bounds on the Arkansas 27-yard line. So it'll be the Razorbacks' ball, first down, 10 yards to go on their own 27. And it's the fullback, Henry Moore, at the center of the line. A loss of one yard that time. Again, it's Henry Moore, the fullback, charging straight away. This time, he moves up for five yards. The line play picked up two more, and it's now fourth and four on the Arkansas 33. And the Razorbacks go into punt formation with George Walker kicking for the sidelines. It's a beautiful punt way downfield. And the ball hits and bounces out of bounds on the Mississippi 30-yard line. First and 10 now. Deep formation, straight shot right half. Billy Kinnard over right tackle for 14 yards. And Mississippi begins to show some of its national ranking in color. First and 10 now for Mississippi on their own 44-yard line. Deep formation. And it's fullback Paige Cothran over right tackle. And look at that boy follow his blockers beautifully, cutting back. Beautiful game. First down, 10 yards to go on the Arkansas 28. Billy Kennard swings over right guard, is pulled down after a gain of nine yards. And Mississippi begins the drive. Second and one now on the Arkansas 19. 
Billy Kennard over right tackle, in there for five more yards, and a big first down for Mississippi. Another line play picked up two, so it's second and eight now in the Arkansas 12. Jimmy Patton barrels away at the center of the Arkansas line for four more yards. After a two-yard gain, we pick up the play. It's fourth and two now in the Arkansas six. Bobby McCool tries to turn the left end, but he's met by a stone wall, and Arkansas takes over on down. The first quarter is over, and the score is Arkansas nothing, Mississippi nothing. We pick up the play in the action in the second quarter. It's first and ten now. Mississippi's ball on the Arkansas 41. Quarterback Eagle Day in there now, calling the signals. Makes a pitch out, rolls out to the right side. Can't get that pass away, is hit and dropped for a two-yard loss. So it's second down, 12 to go. Mississippi's ball on the Arkansas 43. Eagle Day, the quarterback, seven-man defensive line set up by Arkansas. Day fakes the pitch out, swings out this time to the left side. Fires a pass out on the left flat, it's incomplete. Third down, 12 yards to go. Mississippi's ball on the Arkansas 43. T formation here. The Razorbacks in a seven-man defensive line. Eagle Day, the quarterback. On the quarterback, keep cuts inside, left tackle, fights his way through for eight yards. So it's now fourth down, four to go on the Arkansas 35. Ole Miss goes into punt formation. Eagle Day, the quarterback, back doing the kicking. Long count here. Snap from center. He's angling for the sideline. The kick is too far. It's into the end zone. So it'll be brought out to the 20-yard line where it'll be Arkansas's ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Single wing formation to the right this time for the Razorbacks. Buddy Benson in the tailback spot takes it, follows his interference, swings around right, picks up a beautiful block, still on his feet, out of bounds after gaining five yards. Second and five now on the Arkansas 25-yard line. And it's fullback Bill Wilson in the center for four more yards. And the Razorback starts to fight back. Third down, one to go on the Arkansas 29. The tailback is Buddy Benson over the center for first down. Three big yards there, so it's first and 10 on their own 32. Single wing formation to the right side. It's the fullback, Joe Bill Wilson. On a cross pop to the center of the line. Finds some daylight, goes through for 22 yards to the Mississippi 46-yard line. And these sophomores of Bowdoin Wyatt really turn on the steam. First and 10 now on the Mississippi 46. Single wing formation to the right. Look at those blockers as Buddy Benson swings over left tackle for six more big yards before he's dropped with a crushing tackle. Fumble on the play. The official ruled the ball was dead. Second and four now on the Mississippi 40-yard line. Fullback Joe Bill Wilson again cracks the center of the old Miss line for five yards and a first down on the Mississippi 35. First and ten. Single wing formation to the right side. Tailback Buddy Benson. Takes the optional running pass, decides to run to the ball, gets away from a tackler at the 30, at the 25 is hit and dropped. A gain of nine yards. Following a first down now, it's first and 10 on the Mississippi 22. And Benson swings out to the left side, has beautiful protection. Shoots his pass downfield, it's incomplete. Almost intercepted. Arkansas was penalized for illegal use of the hands. So it's now second and 25 on the Mississippi 37. Benson again follows that interference, and look at those boys clean them out of the road. Fighting through there for four big yards. Arkansas's ball now. Tailback Buddy Benson. Look at that protection. Fires the pass out to the right side. It's complete to Billy Lyons. A gain of five yards as the Razorbacks continue to move. Failing to make that first down, the Razorbacks in punt formation. Benson kicking out of bounds. Angles one out on the sidelines on the Mississippi 12. First and ten at that point. The handoff this time from the tee to the right halfback. Billy Kennard over right tackle for 12 yards and the first down. So it's first and ten now. Mississippi's ball on their own 24-yard line. The fullback, Paige Cotherin, takes it straight up the center for nine more big yards of sheer power. So it's second and one now on the Mississippi 33. 
Again, it's Cotherin on the trap play up the center. Swinging away from Sacklers on his feet for 12 yards and another first down. And that boy can run with the football. First and 10 now on the Mississippi 45. The handoff again to Cotherin over left guard, and he fights through for seven yards this time behind beautiful blocking. Second and three on the Arkansas 48. The handoff again this time to Cotherin over left tackle for two more big yards. So it's third and two on the Arkansas 46. Billy Kennard takes over the ball carrying duties over right tackle as he slices through for three and the first down. Ole Miss now taking over the offensive side of the action. First and 10 on the Arkansas 43. Left halfback Jimmy Patton takes it, fights his way over left guard for two yards. So it'll be second and eight on the Arkansas 41. T formation. Ball handed off to the left halfback who is hit hard, fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Bud Brooks of Arkansas. So the Razorbacks take over first and 10 on their own 41 yard line. Single wing formation to the right side. On the reverse this time, it's Joe Thompson coming back. He fumbles the ball, a loss of five yards, but recovers his own fumble. Razorbacks maintain possession, second and 15 on their own 36. George Walker is the tailback, running out to the right side, going to pass, fires one downfield. The pass is complete to Jerry McFadden for nine yards. Third and six now on the Arkansas 45. Walker's back to the tailback. George Walker crashes over right guard following his interference for four yards on the old Tennessee power play. Bowden Wyatt, the head coach, of course, of Arkansas, a disciple of General Bob Nalen. There's the punt this time by Walker. Houston Patton waiting for it. Takes the kick. Looks for his blocker. Starts upfield. Is hit hard on the Mississippi 14-yard line. So it'll be Mississippi's ball, first and 10 from that point. T formation, flanker out to the left side, seven-man defensive line, and Arkansas barrels in there as Patton holds the ball but loses three yards. Second and 13 now on the Mississippi 11. Houston Patton wheels out to the left, fires long down the field. The pass is incomplete. Mighty close, almost, but not quite. So it's third and 13 here, and Patton goes into punt formation. Gets off a high, booming kick way downfield. The ball hits, and it rolls dead on the 45-yard line. And before Arkansas could get the drive started, the half was over, nothing to nothing. The folks here at Little Rock are mighty proud of their beloved Razorbacks as the youngsters of Bowden Wyatt have held a highly touted Mississippi 11 scoreless in the first half. You can bet that here at halftime, the coaches are imparting bits of football wisdom to try and spring on their opponents in the second half. So far today, the sophomores of Arkansas have risen to every occasion to put a stop to Mississippi's great offense. Whether they can do it in the second half or not, the folks might be wondering. But with the spirit that prevails at Arkansas, well, who's going to argue against Coach Wyatt's lad? They'll all shout that the Razorbacks are on their way, and with their record, you've got to back them to the hill. But now the fans are waiting for the action of the second half to get underway. Arkansas kicking off. Jimmy Brooks kicking off. The ball comes down to Houston Patton. He's back on his feet following his blockers, moving downfield and dropped on the Mississippi 28-yard line. So it's Mississippi's ball with a flanker out to the right side, first and 10 on their own 28, T formation. Quarterback Houston Patton here, lining up against a seven-man defensive line. A long count. Patton trying to pull Arkansas off base. Swings over the right side on a keep play, picks up three yards. Jim Roth making the tackle. So it's the Rebels' ball, second and seven now on their own 31-yard line. Mississippi lines up with a flanker to the right side. Patton calling signals. And this time it's the right halfback, Alan Muirhead over right tackle. A gain of six yards. 
Mississippi's ball, third and one on their own 37-yard line. And again, they're out of the huddle in the T formation with a flanker to the right side. And again, it's Muirhead over right tackle, this time moving downfield for a gain of 13 yards. And the Mississippi offense looks like it's beginning to go. D-formation this time. Patton takes the ball, hands it off to the right halfback swinging around. He can't find a blocker and is dropped back for a long loss by some very alert defensive play on the part of the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Unable to gain further, they punt it into the end zone. We pick up the play now. It's first and 10 on the Arkansas 20. And on the first play, George Walker, quick kick. Way back to the Mississippi 37-yard line. Patton takes the ball, returns to the Mississippi 42. There's a clipping penalty here, however, called against Mississippi. So as we pick up the play, it's first and 10 on the Mississippi 30. Flank it to the right side from the T formation. Patton calling the signal. Six-man defensive line against them. Patton using a long count here. Hands the ball off to Bobby McCool. McCool cuts around right end, but is tripped up after a gain of five yards by Jerry McFadden. Mississippi's ball, second and five on their own 35-yard line. Patton fires a pass over the heads of the defensive man. It's complete to George Harris for a gain of 15 yards as Harris carries his tacklers for an extra two or three. Second and seven now on the Arkansas 47-yard line. Long count here now as the quarterback tries to pull Arkansas off sides, but they haven't succeeded yet. It's Earl Blair over right guard this time on an inside handoff for five yards. Preston Carpenter making the stop. So it's Mississippi's ball, third and two now on the Arkansas 42-yard line. And the handoff this time is to Muirhead over center for a gain of four yards before center Jerry Ford drops it. Mississippi on the march, first and 10 now on the Arkansas 38. No score in the ball game. Handoff this time to Bobby McCool over center for a gain of four. Tackle by Ed Bradford. One play picked up three yards, so it's now third and three on the Arkansas 31. And the handoff is to the right halfback, Al Muirhead, for a gain of five. Jim Ross making the stop. First down now for... Old Miss as they're driving towards that Arkansas goal line. Patton calling the signals. A handoff this time to Bobby McCool. Straight over center. Beautiful blocking. Opens up a hole and he goes for eight yards. Henry Moore and Bud Brooks knocking him down. However, the next two plays lost three yards. So we now pick up the play fourth and five on the Arkansas 21. Patton fades back to pass. Fires one downfield, in and out of the hands of the attempted receiver, incomplete. So Arkansas takes over. First down and 10 to go on their own 21-yard line. And again, the Razorback quick kick. George Walker kicking to the Arkansas 43-yard line. Two plays for Ole Miss, picked up one yard. So as we pick up the action, it'll be third down nine on the Arkansas 42. Houston Patton taking off here, swinging back, has beautiful protection. Shoots a pass. Pass is complete. The halfback Earl Blair for a gain of 17 yards. Bobby Proctor tripped him up. We had a penalty in here now, so it's first and 15, a five-yard penalty against Mississippi on the Arkansas 30-yard line. Houston Patton, the quarterback, swinging in over right tackle on the keep play, a gain of three yards. Mississippi's ball, second and 12 now on the Arkansas 27. Patton again fakes the handoff, rolls out to the left side, picks up a nice block, fires a pass downfield. It is intercepted in the end zone by fullback Henry Moore. So Arkansas takes over, and the ball has moved out to their 20-yard line. And the Arkansas cheerleaders are might happy about this turn of event. First and 10 now on their own 20-yard line. Single wing formation, and it's Moore, the fullback, driving hard over the center of the line for three yards. Dean Dubison making the stop. So it's second down, seven yards to go. Razorbacks ball on their own 23. Single wing formation to the right side. On the reverse following to the weak side, it's tailback George Walker. No gain, and at the end of the quarter, it's Arkansas nothing, Mississippi nothing. 
So we swing into the final quarter of play. Second down, 13 yards to go on the Mississippi 43-yard line. Buddy Benson is back, tailback spot, takes it, follows his blockers around to the right side, fires the running pass, it's complete to Billy Lyon. A gain of 11 yards. Earl Blair rolling him out of bounds. Third and two now on the Mississippi 32-yard line. Buddy Benson takes the ball, swings around the left end, points out a blocker. Moves upfield, cuts inside, and he gets that block. Still on his feet. A gain of 10 yards, and it's a Arkansas first down. And the Razorback fans are cheering their sophomores on. First and 10 now on the Mississippi 22. The Razorbacks are driving. Swing a wing formation to the right side. Ball comes back to fullback Joe Bill Wilson through the center for a gain of three yards before he's pushed back by Dick White. Second and seven now on the Mississippi 19-yard line. Single wing formation to the left, and Buddy Benson cuts over left guard, drives hard for three yards. Billy Kennard making the stop. One play picked up nothing, so now it's fourth and four. And the pass out to the left side is incomplete. Bobbled and dropped by Preston Carpenter. Mississippi takes over on downs. One play picked up only a yard, so it's second and nine now on the Mississippi 17. Bobby McCall over right guard on the handoff for a gain of four before Preston Carpenter trips him up. So it's the Rebels ball, third and five now on their own 21-yard line. The quarterback, Houston Patton, gets off a booming kick way down the field. 50-yard line, Buddy Benson picks it up and comes back to the Mississippi 45. Bobby Fisher making the tackle. So the Razorbacks have it. Singling formation to the left side. First and 10 on the Arkansas 45. Seven-man defensive line. The ball comes back to Benson. Benson drives hard at left tackle. Is hit hard. Fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Bob Drury. On the Mississippi 41-yard line. So Ole Miss takes advantage of that break. First and 10 now on their own 41. T formation. Flanker out to the right side. Patton calling the signal. Seven-man defensive line, the handoff to the fullback. Bobby McCall up to center for a gain of five yards. Bud Brooks making the stop. One play picked up two, so it's now third and three on the Mississippi 48. Billy Kennard takes the handoff from the right halfback position. No gain. Bud Brooks and Joe Thomason would not be fooled. So it's Mississippi's ball, fourth and three on their own 48-yard line. They go into punt formation. Houston Patton back in the deep position. Gets away a beautiful kick. He's angling it for the sidelines. The ball hits and goes out of bounds on the 17-yard line. Two plays picked up six yards. So now as we grab the action, it's third and four on the Arkansas 23. Buddy Benson in the tailback spot. Single wing left. Benson fires a little pass out. It's complete to Carpenter. Carpenter still on his feet. Dodging tacklers. Dropped after a gain of seven by Bobby McKinney. So it's Arkansas's ball. First and ten now on their own 30-yard line. Single wing formation. Unbalanced line to the left side. Ball comes back to Bill Joe Wilson. Wilson hurdles over the line for a gain of five yards before Earl Blair tripped him up. One play lost the yard, so it's now third and six on the Arkansas 34. Buddy Benson in the tailback spot. Balance line. Benson rolls out to the left side. Has beautiful protection. Lots of time. Fires a long pass down the field. Carpenter's got it. He's out in front of the last man. He's racing down the sidelines, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. 66 yards, and Preston Carpenter's a mighty happy man. Here's the try for the extra point. Old Miss gangs up on the center to block this one if they can. The snap, the ball is placed down. The kick is up, and it's no good. Off to the left side. So Arkansas leads by a score of six to nothing. A Mississippi fumble was picked up by Arkansas, so as we pick up the action, it's now... Second and nine on the Arkansas 47 as Henry Moore swings in at left guard for a gain of two. And we had another penalty here, so it's now Arkansas's ball. Third and 12 on their own 44-yard line as Walker attempts to run, is being trapped, forced to the sideline, is hit and dropped for a loss of one yard by Bobby McCool. Arkansas's ball, fourth and 13 on their own 43. 
The Razorbacks go into punch formation. George Walker back. Walker kicking for the sideline. Shoots one downfield. Ball is dropped by Ole Miss and recovered by Joe Thomason of Arkansas on the Mississippi 29-yard line. First and 10 now on the Mississippi 29. Swing a wing formation to the right and fullback Henry Moore barrels into the center of the line for no game. And that's the end of the game and a big upset as Arkansas wins six to nothing. Well, the Arkansas Razorbacks did it again and today they did it in a spectacular fashion as they dropped Ole Miss from the ranks of the undefeated on a 66 yard scoring play in the waning minutes of a great football game between two great football teams. And are the folks here happy? Yes, indeedy. Thank <laughs> you.